Hello and welcome to my channel, Tuka Cooks Amadella. Today I'm gonna test, um, I'm gonna sous vide chicken drumsticks. And I marinated one just with regular seasoning, one pouch um, of the chicken. And the other pouch with the chicken, I added some uh, Greek yogurt. Supposedly the Greek yogurt um, tenderizes the meat if you let it sit for a while. And I was just curious to see the difference if it actually tenderizes, how much it tenderizes compared to the uh, just seasoned drumsticks. So we're gonna sous vide today chicken drumsticks and I'll show you step by step the whole procedure. It's been five hours that the chicken has been marinating in the fridge and now is the time to put them in the sous vide bath. Um, I've preheated the sous vide bath and I'm getting ready to insert the uh, chicken drumsticks and it's gonna cook in the sous vide water for three hours. After that I'm planning to crisp them up by deep frying them and that's gonna be uh, interesting to to see how they come out. So stay tuned. So this is what it looks like. The drumsticks are inside the sous vide uh, bath setup and they look very, very uh, happy. So the chicken came out of the sous vide water bath and it's been um, three hours. So it looks, it doesn't look exactly appetizing, but we're gonna change that um, by giving them a, um, by giving it a dredging of flour and egg, and then we're gonna deep fry them until they're golden and little crispy hopefully and we'll see which one is more appealing tastes better and has a more tender meat the one that i marinated in the yogurt or the one without i used a kitchen paper towel and i kind of dabbed the drumsticks to make sure that they're dry because they had they were sitting in the liquid and their own juices and we want them dry for this part so here's my dredging station. I got uh, flour and I added the same seasoning that I used to season the drumsticks before they went to the water bath and um, eggs. So I'm gonna start with the flour. I'm gonna make sure I get the flour everywhere and then into the egg wash and roll it around get it everywhere and then back into the flour and then try to get little excess flour off and we're done and ready for the next one so I'm gonna do this to all of them and then we're gonna fry them. All right, so the chicken is ready and now the, hot, the oil has reached the um, temp that I'm looking for. I'm gonna try with the no yogurt one first. And let's see what happens. I'm gonna do three at a time. And all we're looking for is two, three minutes or until desired uh, crispiness or color. And that's pretty much it. All right, so here is the color I'm looking for. So I'm gonna take them out. Looking good. 
The other reason why I like this cooktop is now that I'm frying and I'm outdoors and that way I don't have to worry about the smell of the frying oil all night. All right, here we go with the yogurt marinade. And again, we're gonna do three at a time. There we go. And here is the fried chicken. It smells fantastic, almost just like KFC. Um, so here's the difference. These are the ones with the yogurt marinade and these are the one without. To be honest, they look identical. I could not really tell by looks only. So over here, I have one with the yogurt marinade and one without, and I cut it so that I, you can see what it looks like in the inside. They both look identical as well. So let me taste it. Oh man, this is so good and juicy. It's like, oh, delicious. I really like it. It's really good. The one with the yogurt marinade. Now I'm gonna try the other one for comparison reasons. Wow, I am totally surprised. I tried the one without the yogurt and I expected it to be a little drier or tougher because the yogurt is supposed to tenderize the meat and I thought it was softer and well, almost the same juicy but somehow ten more tender and I liked it really. It really kind of almost melted in your mouth. It's really good and it's fried. I can't believe it. it. Tastes really good. So really the secret is sous vide the chicken in the uh, sous vide bath and then just you know I only deep fried them for a couple of minutes uh, compared to normally if you just deep fry them you have to deep fry them for 25 or 30 minutes sometimes even more depends on the size of the, the piece. And this was just a, a, a few minutes in, in the oil and wow, this is delicious. I'm definitely going to do it this way from now on when I'm thinking of frying chicken. Maybe even skip the, the yogurt because I don't think uh, it made that big of a difference. Now I noticed the yogurt one was a bigger piece than the one without, but we have more pieces to try. so. If I change my mind, I'll make a comment. Otherwise, I'll stick to it. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up, um, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the bell for future videos. Thank you for stopping by and watching, and I'll catch you later.